I know you guys are like me and probably seen very similar kits like these all around Instagram or on the internet and I just adore them. I think they're really pretty and creative and I thought I wonder if I can make these from items from the dollar store. So that's what we're doing in today's video. I'm showing you how you can make your own invitation to play tray or activity kit using items from Dollar Tree. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Super excited about this one because these are so fun to make. You guys are gonna be blown away by some of the possibilities. I'm gonna take you to Dollar Tree, show you all the things that are in stores now that I'm putting inside the kits, and then maybe in a couple of months, I'll do it again all over. Let's get right to it. These are really exciting to make, and I cannot wait to show you. Let's start off with the boxes. Hands down, this is my favorite box right now from Dollar Tree. It's actually in the tool bench section, the hardware section, and they have very similar similar ones in the craft section and those will work too. However, these are my favorite because they don't have that bump across the top and they're great too if you have multiple of them to stack on each other. And for me, that's important. The other ones in the craft section or the stationary section will definitely still work. Other ones from the disposable partyware section or the food section will also work too. So if you don't find this one, it's okay. You, you can find options at Walmart too. Let's cost a little bit more. You can find options on Amazon on but look for these see if they're there because I think they get kind of missed because they are in that hardware section I'm actually just trying to peel off the label here very slowly oh come on almost have it off almost have it off there we go should have done this before I turn on the camera right beautiful also, if you don't want a storage case, they do right now in the craft section have these really, really great wooden trays and they're in quadrants. And so this is a great way for an invitation to play. If you're switching out materials a lot, another great option. I prefer these if you're storing things. These are cool because they do stack as well. It's just that they don't have a lid. You have some options there. Just work with what you like best would be my best advice for that. So in our container here, we have lots of different sections. I love me a good divided container. <laughs> you guys have no idea. So we have our box here. We're gonna fill up our compartments with different things. I'm actually gonna start with the large stuff. So I think with a tinker tray, it's really important to use something to be able to build with, which is why I think dough becomes really, really important. I found some dough you can get in different kinds of sections and styles and sizes at Dollar Tree, but I did find this one, which are the mini ones. And this is a container of eight different ones. So let me open this up to show you what we got here. See how that there's smaller containers, but there's a lot more of them. And so when you're using a little, whoops, that one, the lid came off. When you're making a little tinker tray, you can do your own handmade dough. A lot of people like the handmade dough because they control what's in it. Perfectly fine and acceptable. These are just great. You can get them in the bigger sizes. They don't quite fit in here flat as they are. So we're going to actually take them out. I'm going to do blue. And then I think since I'm doing kind of an open ocean theme. Maybe some purple would go well with that. I'm looking for just really pretty colors and let's do these three colors. And I'm actually going to take them out of here, roll them in a ball and put them in my own plastic, just like they do when they sell them on Instagram. Plastic helps keep it from drying out, keeping the um, moisture in. Now, of course, if you are playing with this right away. You do not need to put it in plastic. This is more for like if you're giving it as a gift or if you want to store it or something. But since you have the containers, you can store it on your own. So otherwise I, I would just put it directly in there. You wouldn't need to put it in your own plastic, but because I am not using this right away, I'm going to be using plastic. All right. So now I have three colors. We don't have to use three colors. That's the other thing with this. You know, I'm just giving you some examples of what you can do. Use what you want. I got three in there and they seem to fit really well in this compartment. You could probably even put them in this compartment if you have more stuff. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I'm totally doing this by ear. Then I have these little dies. So this is what I'm using for my manipulative objects. So my subject and they're kind of ocean themed, right? So we have a whale on top, a little penguin, a little dolphin, and these are sold in the craft section. They're so adorable and cute. And there's so many in here. There's actually six. So when I saw these, I was totally inspired by this. You could also use the little tubes that they have of different animals. Tinker trays are normally meant for children that do not put things in their mouth. So be aware of that. If your child is one that does that, this might not be the ideal activity for you. These do have some pointy edges. I want to mention that, but nothing that wouldn't, my kids wouldn't be able to handle. So now we're going to put some animals in here. I'm going to put my whale. This is what we call things to tinker with, right? And then our little penguins in that little section. And we got two each. You don't have to put them all in here, but I am because why not? We'll put our dolphin over 
over there. So cute, this is really shaping up. Next I wanna add some things to kind of manipulate with it. I found these pom-poms and I thought these would be really, really fun to put in here in the ocean colors. They can have these be the ocean, they can have them be, you know, sand, have it be ice, because it's the Arctic with penguins, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of white in here. I don't know, whatever you think is great. Tinker trays are set up to be open-ended play. And so open-ended means the child has materials and they get to decide what the blue pom-pom is. They get to choose what the dough is for. They get to build and create and explore and design their own world. They get to tinker with all of the items and they get to decide how to play. This is really turning out super cute. Next up, I have some pebbles. I told you guys in my shop with me or my haul, one of the two that I was going to finally purchase these rainbow pebbles. I have used the blue and green and white set for the longest time as manipulatives, as counters for math. Kids are just fascinated with them. They are fun, they are pretty, they are just gorgeous to look at. And so these are gonna go in our kit. And since we got this kind of purple dough going on, I'm just gonna match the colors because when you make invitations to play you want it to be inviting you want the kids to look at all the objects and want to touch and want to build and want to create and that's why they usually call them invitations to play and so by doing a really pretty box like this and matching all the colors it makes it that more visual and exciting to want to come and explore the box so let's see here I want some more white do I have any more white in here I might not have any more white do you have some more blue like a different shade oh my gosh what do you guys think is that cute should I put some yellow in there too let's put some yellow to match our yellow dough what can the pebbles be used for I mean they could be used for rocks for the penguins to walk on they could be used with the dough I mean the sky's the limit here okay so I have some pebbles in there I think that's going to be enough for this box I also wanted to put some of these these are from the tumbling tower game and they are just they are wooden blocks honestly that's all they are but what can you use with these you can build them you can stack them you can make barriers also they make great visual pieces because they're made out of that wood these tumbling to power block sets go super fast because people use them in crafts so just be aware if you can't find them just keep looking i'm not going to put all of them in here obviously but i am going to put quite a few to fill up my box over here on this side here as many as you think would work, add some more in there. So this would be my first box that I wanted to show you. We got the dough, we got the little cutouts, we got some jewels to play with, some fuzzy pom-poms for some sensory components, some blocks to build with, and I think this would make a really great invitation to play. So let's do another one because I'm on a roll here. <laughs> I wanna give you even more ideas too. We might even use some of the same materials because that's what's great about these is that once you buy one material, I would highly encourage you to use it again, repurpose, re cycle let me just get off my sticker here all right we are set for this one oh my goodness i have the cutest little springtime ladybugs and they are so cute i'm not sure if this one's a ladybug or a dragonfly i'm not sure it doesn't even matter it doesn't matter because they are cute and i like them <laughs> so let's check these out real quick i thought this one would make a good spring themed i know we're not in spring yet we're coming up on it i just couldn't resist so i've got three different die cuts. Oh, I just love that little ladybug. How cute is that? Once again, you don't have to use these. You could use the animals that they have in the little tubes. Those would work really well. My store didn't have any when I shopped, so I thought these would be perfect. Something fun and new to put in here are these pom-poms. How cool are these? These are the new ones that I've just seen, but I'm going to be using the spring colors because I think those would be really good for this one. I'm going to continue on with that spring colored theme. I think for the dough, I'm going to use, I use that pink. Should I use the pink? Is the pink too bright i feel like it might be uh and then we have our pom-pom pom-pom colors Ooh, they're like little oh they're like little balls of yarn <laughs> they're so cute you guys you definitely have to get these okay so i'm going to pick out i'm gonna put them in this container over here and then let's do Ooh, what should i do what should i do i'm gonna put in these pink ones and they're small well you know what i'm just gonna put most of them in <laughs> because why not? They're too fun. Then we got our pebbles. I'm gonna use some of the same pebbles, just in different colors for this box. Let's pull out the orange. Let's put them up here. The orange, the yellow, mostly orange and yellow, I think. We can put a little pink in there too, because why not? And I'm gonna see if my kids are gonna play with this, especially my eight-year-old. I think my eight-year-old would really dig it. And then 
if that's the case, I'll definitely put it on Instagram to see so you can see what she made and what she tinkered with and what she created. She loves just imagining things. I think that should be good, right? And then we have these really fun jewels that I got in the craft section. And these jewels are butterflies and flowers. And I just thought they were fun addition. They're not adhesive, so they don't have glue on the back or anything like that, but they came in so many different colors and they're just really eye-catching and sparkly and pretty. So I thought these would be really fun to include because we're doing insects and this little spring theme. So let's use these. And looks like I have some pink and pink. There's no pink. <laughs> looks like I'm having some blue and green. You guys, when you film so many YouTube videos, oh no, there's some purple and pink. There's only two purple and pink. <laughs> All right, well, that's okay. So we'll use these in our box. These little crafter squares bags are great because they're actually resealable. So you can just put them in there and seal it back up. And then let's not forget our butterflies. I think we definitely have to do the butterflies. And the butterflies are green, pink, and purple. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so let's put them, put them here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my dough next. All right, now that I've wrapped my dough and I'm looking at my box over there, I am actually thinking I like the dough on this side. So I might switch these out. <laughs> Is that okay? Am I allowed to do that? Let's just do it. And then I'm gonna put these there and then my dough on the side. There we have it. This is our second box for our butterflies. Some of the same materials, just different colors, but then some different ones too, so you can mix it up. So for one box, let's see, we have $1. We have $1 for all of the dough, $1 for all of the little cutouts, $1 for the gems. I got two, but you really only need one. <laughs> $1 for these little colored beads, and then $1 for the pom-poms. So all together, $6 for this whole kit. Some times seven if depending on how many other things you add in there but that is a completely reasonable price for an activity kit with materials that you could use over and over again love it if you like this video i have another one up here on the screen that's very similar to this just a slightly different concept i think you'll like it go watch that next and i'll see you over there make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love